Hello, my name is Stuart Herbert, and this is a short video demonstration of how I'm using Sublime Text 2 for PHP development. And this video, what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate checking code for errors on the fly as you're typing. Something all Java IDEs, such as NetBeans, give you for free, something you should take for granted, and it's something that is available in Sublime Text 2. So if we look at the web page with all the community available packages for Sublime Text, and if we type lint into the search box, we'll see 18 packages have matched because of the name of some of their developers. But if we scroll down to the bottom, we'll find some linters here. Now the main two linters are Sublime Linter, which is the plugin I'm going to demonstrate, and Sublime Lint, which is also a popular linter. Now it's important to say here though I've not had any problems with Sublime Linter at all myself. I know people who have installed it and have uninstalled it and gone to Sublime Lint instead because they found performance problems using Sublime Linter. So if you find it's running slow for you, um, just switch over to using Sublime Lint and you should be very happy as well. So, here we go. Here's a piece of code I prepared earlier. And what we're going to do here is we're going to fill out this getter. And you'll see that as I type, you've got on the fly syntax highlighting. And also on the fly syntax linting. So if I do that, which is a deliberate error. Okay, you can see that's a syntax error. So what's happened is the line with the error in has been highlighted and down here at the bottom of the screen, hopefully you can see that in this video, in the status bar, there's the actual error message back from PHP as for the syntax error. So if we fix that, make this legal, that's great. Now something very important, imagine we left the semicolon off on the end. Now what the linter tool does is it highlights the line below. And if you were to run this through PHP's command line lint tool, PHP space minus L, which is what this plugin uses, then it would also tell you that it was line 13 with a syntax error, not line 12. So this, this lint is accurate with what PHP itself would tell you. Something to keep in mind when using it if you're wondering why it's highlighting the wrong line or what you would think is the wrong line. That's because from PHP's point of view, the error is that bracket, that closing brace on line 13. It's caused by the missing semicolon, but it's PHP who would report that as the problem, whereas adding the semicolon in is the fix. That concludes a very simple demo of Sublime, Linter, and how you can use it in Sublime Text 2 to get on the fly checking of your code. I hope you find this demo useful. Thank you.